This is Tony Huang, the founder of Tech Execs. Welcome to Austin's Tech Execs CIOs and IT Leadership Forum. Here today is April 6, 2011, at the event hosted at IBM Innovation Center. So let's grab a couple of uh, presenters and speakers, and let's find out a little bit about what they're going to be talking about. With me is Michael Drapkin. Thank you so much for being a um, presenter and also a keynote for today's event. What are you going to be talking about? Well, I'm going to talk about cloud computing. We're going to cover a, different, a number of different areas. We're going to talk about consumer versus um, uh, commercial, a lot of the issues that are associated with that. Uh, what are the pluses? What are the minuses? So we're going to talk about what, are the, um, uh, what is the downpour and what is the, um, the silver lining. For those people that were not able to make it today, what would be the takeaway point for you? Back up your data. <laughs> single, single point. Yeah. If, if there's anything you do is back up your data. Okay. Well, one of the things, the personal side of things, you're an uh, accomplished musician, right? So what, is that, what, what have you done and what is that about? Well, I, I wear a couple hats. Um, I've been working in technology since the end of high school, but I also had a dual career as a symphony orchestra clarinetist. And I'm also very involved now with South by Southwest, and I have my own band. Cool. What do you think about South by Southwest these days? It's gotten really big. It got really big. It got, the music part got a little bit out of hand this yeah. year, um, but it's great, and it's a great opportunity for people to showcase new talent here in Austin. Well, Michael, thank you for being our uh, keynote today, and we look forward to your presentation. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Colin, how are you? Good morning, Tony. How are you? I'm doing great. So what's this uh, South by Southwest event I heard? It was a great turnout. Oh, the South by Southwest event was an interesting exercise in looking at how to connect enterprises and customers. So we got a lot of response out of the tech execs and going beta thing that people were really happy to actually talk to executives and, and get something done. Um, we wanted to test out the theory that uh, going out and finding money wasn't as good as finding a customer and Tony uh, very nicely let me use the Tech Execs Network to have an event and we had a pretty impressive turnout. Well today's topic is going to be on cloud computing and the, whether it's uh, optimal usage versus a downpour. Right? So what do you think um, people are going to be sharing today? I think it's probably going to be experience based. There's a lot of people out there who are trying to figure out what cloud computing really means uh, based on the fact that we've all pretty much seen it before, so they're adding new terms to it. Um, I think a lot of companies are trying to redefine to catch up with the speed of invention that is coming with the, uh, the new technologies. That a lot of companies are looking at um, <clears throat> their uh, web services and their applications for uh, for the latency and also for um, mobile, I think a lot of the challenge that uh, people are starting to look at is the problem that you're talking about has existed for a while and people are still trying to solve it, which is surprising. And now when you have uh, enterprise applications in a mobile environment, which are tied back to cloud services and data centers, how do you prevent this same uh, problem from creeping into these new technologies? So uh, yes, I believe it's there, but I'm not sure that the uh, solution has been presented yet because again, everybody's trying to figure out where to direct the resources. With me is Dennis Bly with IBM Innovation Centers. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being a host with us today again. Um, what's this new thing about the Austin IBM Smart Camp? Uh, Smart Camp is exciting. Um, we are, IBM is part of the, uh, uh, one of the foundational partners for Startup America, uh, which was launched by President Obama uh, in January. And so uh, as our commitment to that, IBM is, is dedicating $150 million this year in programs and resources dedicated to supporting the entrepreneur community, nurturing them, helping them build skills, and help great, helped great jobs. So I, IBM is uh, launching Smart Camp in Austin, uh, which is what we started last year, and that is an entrepreneurial competition, if you will, uh, where entrepreneurs that have a, a consistent vision to, to IBM Smarter Planet um, can submit their applications by April 15th, and we will pick uh, six finalists, and they will actually be coming here to Austin, and we will be uh, selecting them. They'll have a day of mentorship with 25 extremely uh, uh, talented mentors that are serial entrepreneurs, academic leaders, uh, such as Dr. Robert Metcalf, inventor of the e Ethernet, 
and uh, uh, they'll be going through those mentoring sessions on day one and on day two they'll actually uh, present their present their business plan and their solution and the, and the winner will be selected to be the smartest entrepreneur uh, in the Austin area and the winner will go on to the worldwide finals which location is not yet announced but uh, we have locations around the world two in the US New York and, uh, and Austin um, where smart camps will be held we this actually year. have uh, a series of sponsors and at each smart camp that we have there are a series of sponsors so here the University of Texas is sponsoring the Austin Chamber of Commerce and uh, the law firm Fulbright and Jaworski, along with IBM, and each of those sponsors are giving a prize uh, to to the candidate of their choice from this event. So it could include things like uh, uh, free legal services. Um, it, uh, Dr. Metcalf himself has volunteered to be a mentor uh, to the to the winner, and uh, so there's a lot of exciting uh, prizes that will be awarded. With me is Adam with Time Warner Cable Business Class. Good morning. Good morning. So thank you for being a sponsor today. What are you going to be sharing with everyone today? Uh, just to who we are in the market and how you know, our products, services, and differentiate ourselves from other people. But the solutions that we can provide and a daily uh, business continuity that we provide to our customers and scalable architect. We're diverse from the ILEC and CLEC legacy network carriers. Uh, we have two separate networks, which are coaxial as well as our fiber optic infrastructure. We deliver native Ethernet. Uh, also, we were the MEF certified uh, carrier service provider of the year 2008. Okay. So we already have that certification. We know what we're doing, and we're scalable. A customer can call us up and request an increase in a point-to-point -point bandwidth from anywhere from 5 megs to a gig, and we can increase that bandwidth for that customer within 48 hours. This has been an exceptional event. Hopefully you guys can join us next time both online and in person at Tech Execs. We look forward to seeing more of you uh, at our, our member portal. Uh, the Tech Execs website is www.techexecs.net.